If measure of angle 1 equals 5x plus 10 and measure of angle 2 equals 6x minus 4, find x so that a is parallel to b. So measure of angle 1 is 5x plus 10 and measure of angle 2 is 6x minus 4 and then we want these two lines to be parallel. So we need to think about well what kinds of angles are these two angles? Right, they are on the same side of our transversal C here. Right, C is cutting through the two lines A and B that we want to make parable, parallel, so C is our transversal. And then they are one exterior, one interior. Right, Two is between the two lines, one is outside of the two lines, but they're both in the top right corner, top right corner. So that makes them corresponding. So angle one and um, angle two are corresponding angles, so they need to be congruent to have um, parallel lines, right? And that is by postulate 4.2. So let's go ahead and make them congruent, right? To make them congruent, that means that their angle measures must be equal. So 5x plus 10 must be equal to 6x minus 4, right? 5x plus 10 is the measure of angle 1. Measure of angle 1 needs to be equal to measure of angle 2, so we set them equal to each other, and now we need to solve. If we look at that equation, um, before we can get x by itself, x is on both sides of the equation. It's on the left as 5x, it's on the right as 6x. So we need to get x to be on the same side, and I like to move the smaller term um, which would be 5x, right? 5 is a smaller coefficient. So 5x is a positive 5x. To move it, we would need to subtract 5x, right? 5x minus 5x is going to be 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side, right? 6x minus 5x would be 1x or just x. We still have the 10, and it is a positive 10, right? There's a plus in front of it. We still have the minus 4. Now x is only on the right, and we can get x by itself. The only thing that's preventing x from being alone is that minus 4. So we do the opposite operation of subtraction, which is addition. So we add 4 to both sides. Or if you double check, negative 4, right, that minus 4 is the same thing as negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. They do cancel out with each other. And 10 plus 4 is 14. So we have 14 equals x. And we were supposed to find x so that they're parallel. So we found x. x is equal to 14. Right? That's our final answer. We can double check, you know, that x equals 14 makes sense. Um, if we plug 14 into both of those measures that we were given, if we take 5 times 14 and we add 10, 5 times 14, uh, that would be a 20, 70, right, 70 plus 10, and we would get 80. So we want to make sure we get 80 on the other one, right? Since they're corresponding angles, they should be congruent. And if you want to do this on a calculator, that's fine too, right? 6 times 14 minus 4, uh, we get 4 to 84. 84 minus 4 is also 80. So we have confirmed that x is equal to 14 in order to have those corresponding angles congruent and then to have those parallel lines.